Hello everyone! Hi team! Merry Christmas! Seriously! Happy holidays everyone! Yes, I hope you are having a wonderful, cozy, cute, decently warm. Yeah, <laughs> we are coming at you live from the great white north Canadian tundra and we are filling Canadian stereotypes left and right. Yes. <laughs> it has been so cold. Like you guys think you know cold, but if you do not live in in Canada, you do not know cold. Negative 35. With the wind chill, negative 45. And guess what? Guess where Fahrenheit and Celsius meet? Negative 40. Negative so 40 we're talking negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius. It takes your breath away. It's to your bone. It's, it's like, it was incredible. Luckily, <laughs> we only, I only had one day of it and now it's warming up. We're in the positives today. We're in Woo! the positives. But, but there was holy. a time there where we, we didn't leave the house. I, I, yeah. I think you guys were like, do you want to come? And I was like, I'm not in the house. Yeah, it's too cold. Anyways, that's, <laughs> but we have a white Christmas, which is fun. Yes. So on the bright side, yes. white Christmas. Speaking of white Christmas, <gasps> <laughs> I didn't even mean to say like that. <laughs> we are watching White Christmas. This was the runner up in our Christmas movie poll on Patreon. First place was Trading Places, which I watched and have a reaction to. And then we're coming at very last minute with this one because I wanted to watch it with Carly and she was coming to meet us in Canada. So mm -hmm. we are watching White Christmas. Um, what do you know about this movie? Absolutely nothing. Zero? It's old. It's very old. That's all I know. It's old. I, I it's about Christmas. think it's musical. Oh. I don't know if it's like a full on musical or they're just musical numbers in okay. it. Okay. I don't know. Um, it's funny because I keep telling people what Christmas movies we're watching and I'll say we're watching White Christmas and people, like multiple people have been like, oh, that's my favorite Christmas movie. Like I grew up watching this every year. Like even people my age. I don't think I've ever heard of it. I, I don't think I have before the channel either. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I had heard of It's a Wonderful Life. Yes. Before we watched that one. And Miracle on 34th Street. Yes. Because the newer one. Probably. Right, so I don't know. I wonder if we'll recognize certain things from like our Christmas culture mm, yeah. that came from mm -hmm. this movie. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect. Other than that, yeah, Christmassy. We're in a cozy Christmas bed and we get to watch a movie with you. If you could just like and subscribe mm -hmm. and click that little bell if you want to know new content when that drops. Okay, let's watch White Christmas. picture in this division. <laughs> what a time. 1954. So after um, Miracle on 34th Street, when was It's a Wonderful Life? It's well, it's color. Yeah. Isn't It's a Wonderful Life black and white? Uh-huh. It just said starring Bing Crosby. Isn't that the guy that sings all those old-timey like, I'm... Oh, I bet it's from this. <laughs> Don't talk I about. I'm more of a holiday hit. It's pop Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> like we talking like Backstreet Boys. 100%. Yeah. I mean, I like that too, but sometimes I just want classic. What's your favorite Christmas song? Tell us in the comments. What's your favorite Christmas song if you had to pick one? All I want for Christmas. No, it's not. <laughs> really? No, it is not. <laughs> Why, it's so fun. Oh, I get so it's sick of it. Right time. It's a right Time. Wait, that's Wait. a different one. Oh, fetch. <laughs> Wait, Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve 1944. Oh, and it's Christmas Eve today. This is so fun. I think mine's the first Noel and Oh Holy Night. Doctor. What's this all about, Captain? A little entertainment for the men, sir. Tonight's Christmas Eve. These men are moving up tonight, General Waverly. They should be lined up for full inspection. You're absolutely right. There's no Christmas in the Army, Captain. Sergeant, take me to headquarters immediately. We'll have those men turned out on the double. I'll take the shortcut. Yes, sir. That's not the way back to headquarters. Joe, you know that, and I know that, but uh, the general doesn't know it. That sergeant will be a private in the morning. Is sergeant private a d upgrade or downgrade? I think a downgrade. Oh, he's got kind eyes. Yeah. I'm I think that's Bing Crosby. Love of one. It does not look like that voice can come out of him. Yeah. Just like the ones I used to know. I pictured him as an old man with gray hair. I mean, he'd be young at some point, and I guess. <laughs> listen. But that voice just sounds so mature. Yeah. May your days 
Be merry and bright And may all your Christmas be white Certainly too bad General Waverly couldn't have been here for this Because we really had a slam-bang finish cooked up for him Guess you know by now that uh, he's being replaced by a new commanding general Fresh out of the Pentagon It's not a very nice Christmas present, is it? The old man's moving toward the rear We owe an awful lot to General Waverly Captain Wallace Who's responsible for holding a show in this advanced area? Well, sir, as a matter of fact... Uh, it was me, sir. <clears throat> me, sir. It was my idea, sir. It's Christmas Eve, sir, and... Well, sir, uh, I, I mean that if, if you were in New York, sir, you'd have to pay 660 or even 880 to see the, uh, hear a great singer like Captain Wallace, sir. Who are you? Uh, Philip Davis, sir, private first class, sir. Well, at ease, Davis. I said at ease. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Go oh, under the command of General Harold G. Carlton. He'll have you standing inspection night and day. You may even learn how to march. And if you don't give him everything you've got, I may come back and fight for the enemy. Well, I guess all I can say is what a fine outfit. We'll follow the old man wherever he wants to go. Long as he wants to go. Opposite to the foe. I love the sound of all men choirs. <laughs> yeah. We love him. And especially when Tender. he's on the wall. Just my arm. What do you got? Bad. Nah, it's nothing but a scratch. I just dropped by to thank you for saving my life. It's a life worth saving, sir. I appreciate it. And I want you to know something. Because anytime I can do anything for you, anytime, any place, you, you just pick up a phone, huh? Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Could do one little tiny favor for me. Well, sir, I've uh, I've kind of written a little song, you see. And I thought perhaps when we got back to the States, when this is all over, you know, I thought uh, maybe if you put this song in your act, it might be a big hit for you. I just happen to have it with me right here. What's okay? it? It's a duet? Yeah, it needs two people, two dynamite entertainers. Who do you figure on for the other hunk of dynamite? I, I, I happen to know a fella, Captain. He's uh, pretty funny in living rooms, kind of has a fair voice, you know, and I... How about me? I do a single, you see. Yeah, oh, well... Okay, dynamite, we'll, we'll give it a whirl, huh? <laughs> okay, Captain. Good luck. Bye. It's over. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Is rising, it isn't surprising. They certainly can. Can, can. Is it like a filter or are their eyes that blue? I know, <laughs> seriously. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy to look back at that what entertainment, should have entertainment used to be, yeah. Like, what would they think if they saw Cardi B performing at the Grammys oh. now? <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know Doris, friend of Rita's. Another one, huh? How do you do? Mutual, I'm sure. Uh, I thought before train time we'd get a bite to eat and have a few laughs or something. We got some business to take care of. We gotta go look at an act. Look at an act? Some other time, I hope, huh? Without so much as a kiss my foot or ham and ample. That's the last time I'm gonna dig up a date for him, and from now on, you can do your dirty work yourself. I don't know what those sentences Yeah, are. I know. Without a dirty foot or a kiss bite of an or... apple? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's face it, Bob. You're a lonely, miserable man. And you're unhappy, too. And when you're unhappy, I'm unhappy. For all, I feel a strong sense of responsibility to you, Bob. Oh, not again with that life-saving bit. Since you saved my life, you decided you had the right to run it. You'd look at me with those great big cow eyes of yours, point at that phony arm, and I'd melt and go along. You're a miserable, lonely, unhappy man. Oh, you're wacky. I'm a very happy man. Well, I got everything in life oh, I want. Oh, sure. I'm off my nut a mile and a half. At least. You've got everything you yes, want. I'm except loyal. the most important thing. What's this? A girl. Love. True love. When what's left of you gets around to what's left to be gotten, what's left to be gotten won't be worth getting whatever it is you've got left. Wow, that riddle. <laughs> Ever since the day we became producers, you were a changed man. You've gone absolutely berserk with work. And the strange thing is you liked it. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to get married. I want you to have nine children. <laughs> you don't expect me to get serious with the kind of characters you and Reed have been throwing in. And some nice girls, too, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that nuclear scientist we just met out in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> so 
a lot of sense in what you say, and I have to admit it, but the kind of girls you and I meet in this business, they're full of their own careers. They're not interested in getting married, settling down, raising a family. Someday the right girl's gonna come along. She'll have me, we'll get married, we'll settle down, we'll start having those nine kids for you. 45 minutes is gonna be enough. If I need any more, I'll tell you. Look at that, full circle. <laughs> we'll go right over to the station from Novello's after we audition. What kind of an act is it? Sister act. We don't need any sister act. What are we wasting time for? Do you remember Benny Haynes, the, the old mess sergeant? Yeah. He's got sisters? Now, how can a guy that ugly have the nerve to have sisters? <laughs> <laughs> I do wish you kind of said that this, though, like dressed up just yes. to go out for lunch or something, yeah. you know, or dinner. Have the Haynes sisters been on yet? No, sir, not yet. They'll be on in about 15 minutes. Who is it? It's me, Novello. Bob Wallace and Phil Davis are out front to catch your act. Come on now, you better hurry. Wallace and Davis here to see us. I wonder whatever gave them the idea. Probably knew we were here, you know, and that they were in town with the big show. Did you read Mother's letter this morning? No. Why? Benny's got a job in Alaska. He's been out of the country for three months. Oh, well, he, he uh, could have written yeah, Alaska. She sent the letter. He didn't, did he? Judy. Why did you write the letter? Because it's good business. You can't leave everything up to fate. I'm just like a mother hen looking after a little chick. Until someone else comes along who can do it better, mother hen's gonna stick pretty close to the coop. I, I think... <laughs> Some foreshadowing? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Haynes sisters. Oh. Very glam. Yes. Can you imagine Freckle Face having sisters as cute as that? <laughs> incredible they're not dog sisters, faced sisters sisters oh this is the song sister someone put a video of us like our best no moments sir. and they played oh. this song to keep those who seen us know that not a thing could come between us but hell the mister who comes between me and my sister <laughs> that's so fun <laughs> Uh, won't you sit there? And he said, right here. There, that's cozy, isn't it? Boy, girl, boy, girl. <laughs> I have a recent snapshot. Oh. He's cute. Yeah. Mr. Wallace, do you have any suggestions for the act? Well, no, just, just keep plugging away, huh? But there must be something. Should we both be blondes? Maybe Betty's hair should go a shade darker, or... Oh, no, I wouldn't change a thing. <sighs> you were brought here tonight under false pretenses. Benny didn't write the letter. My sister did. Figured you'd never come to see us if we ask you, and you might have been. He did. Simple as that. How do you like that? He's impressed. Yeah. Where are you going? Vermont. Oh, Vermont should be beautiful this time of the year, with all that snow. You know something? What? Vermont should be beautiful this time of year, all that snow. That's what I just said. We seem to be getting a little mixed up. Maybe it's the music. Maybe it isn't only the music. <laughs> Look at them! The best thing happen while you're dancing. Things that you would not do at home come naturally on the floor. Even guys with two left feet come out all right if the girl is sweet. We have two love stories? Yeah, yes. I know! Dancing. She's so great. Dancing. 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 I know, seriously. I love an impromptu uh, yeah. <laughs> musical. <laughs> I want the whole uh, club to join. Yeah. <laughs> hey, -o. I think they should come to uh, Rockefeller with them. I mean, New York and Vermont are Is very cool. Yep. Whoa! Cool tricks, cool tricks! It's like La La Land. -esque. Yeah, totally. Also, like Mary Poppins and yeah. Bert. <laughs> At first, I thought she was gonna go with. Me too! Yeah. That's what I would thought. But I kind of like. But yeah. end up this way. Yeah. More, the more like responsible. Yes, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> See, after the, the show, the sheriff's here. It's in my office with a warrant to arrest both of you. 
The landlord What's... claims we burned a hole in the rug and he's trying to hold us up for $200. And on top of that, we sneaked our bags out of our room. Look, I'll tell you what. You girls go and pack. Bob and I'll take care of it. We don't want to cause you any trouble. It's no trouble. You're stopping an awful jam. Why should you? I mean, ooh, what's in it for you? 45 minutes. All to myself. Huh? Oh, would you hurry, girls? <laughs> <laughs> Give me one good reason. Let's just say we're doing it for an old pal in the army. It's not good, but it's a reason. Will you go on? <laughs> Take these, now get going. Come on. Here we go. Up. Upsy daisy. <laughs> you don't get those girls till after they've done their number. How long is it going to take? Well, it'll only be... Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, an impromptu surprise for you. The Haynes sisters. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sister. There were never <laughs> such devoted <laughs> sister. <laughs> Sir, I'm here to keep my... I'm dead. All kinds of weather, we stick together. <laughs> but I think they're secretly loving it, yeah. though. Those who this is our next TikTok dance card. <laughs> Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. <laughs> <laughs> He's not living his best life. That is so funny. Hey, you! The sheriff! <laughs> Shh, taxi! Oh. Hey, show him the tickets, Buster. Tickets? Hold it, just... Uh -uh. Get them up. I'll, I'll get them. A railroad ticket. Well, I don't seem to have them. Maybe you got them, Bob. Me? You crazy? I saw you put them in your pocket. Well, they're gone. Gentlemen, either you have tickets or you haven't. If you care to purchase tickets, you can sit up all night in the club car. How much are two fares to New York? Uh, $97.24. How much more is it to Vermont? Vermont? We're going to New York. It must be beautiful this time of year in Vermont. Vermont? Who cares? Who's going to Vermont? We are. Don't they have to get to the show? Where are you going? Yeah. For breakfast. Uh -huh. Breakfast. Get some peanuts. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Their dynamic is funny. I know. <laughs> the girls are going to be in there. Excuse me. Uh, who are the club cars in there? <laughs> oh, no. You wouldn't do this to me. After you dress me up like a dame. You get me involved with the sheriff. I almost lose my life trying to catch a train. I, I just know on top of all that, you, you wouldn't take away my nice, warm bed and let me spend the night out here in a drafty old club car. I'm going down there to drawing room A. I'm going to open up that door. And if I find those two Haynes sisters in there, I'm going to take them by the hair. And with these two hands, I am absolutely... Oh, Mr. Wallace, it was really so sweet and generous of you. Mr. Davis told us you insisted on giving us the tickets. And... <laughs> oh! Yeah, this is cozy. Boy, girl, girl, boy. I wish you would still say that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Makes me feel like elementary school. Yeah. In New York, we're booked for over the holidays. Where? The Columbia Inn, Pine Tree, Vermont. No kidding. Oh, no way. Do, 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 do. How much do you want to Vermont? Could you come up for a couple of days? Well, I, I don't know. It... I wish you could. It'd be awfully nice. Come on, Bob. If you're ever under a falling building and somebody runs up and offers to pick you up, carry you to safety, don't think, don't pause, don't hesitate a moment. Just spit in his eye. What does that mean? <laughs> it means we're going to Vermont. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Snow, 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 snow. snow. What a we're going double days like this. Like this. <laughs> yeah. No, I long to clear a path and lift a spade of snow. To see a great big man entirely made of snow. Where it's snowing all winter through. How I'm longing to ski through the snow. Hey, okay, they can just bunk up with them. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a print in someone's house that's like, I want to wash my hair and face and hands with snow or something. And I was like, that's not like, a thing with it. <laughs> that's supposed to be what that's from. Let me help you down. All right. Let's go visit the fire. <gasps> Moment, Barry. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, Bob, Benny, Judy, come here. I think we took the wrong train. What? Ah, well, it's all green out here. They must have grass-covered igloos up here. <laughs> oh, this is warmer than Florida, huh? Where's the beach? Don't they just stay on it for longer? No, I think this is Vermont. We haven't had snow since Thanksgiving. Must be wonderful up in Vermont this time of the year, all that underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this little traveling crew. Cute little thing. Vermont, yeah. Very vermont -y. <laughs> Terribly sorry, but I'm afraid we won't be able to use you. Well, are things really that bad? We're using this ski toe to hang the wash on. 
General Waverly. <gasps> Sir. How are you, Captain? I'm fine, General, but... We just try to keep the general part quiet. Uh, begging your pardon, sir. People don't expect a major general to carry firewood. I have a table, <laughs> sir. A janitor. <gasps> Never thought I'd make it, huh? I own this hotel. A landlord. He got it in a shrewd business move. Isn't owning a hotel very impressive? Yeah. <laughs> a landlord. <laughs> There'll be six inches of snow tonight. We'll be full up tomorrow. Is that the weather forecast? No, but if there was one thing I learned in the Army, it was to be positive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, since there's no snow. Nonsense. We've made a contract. Our first performance is tonight at 8 o'clock. Be there or I'll sue. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. Me too. <laughs> We ate, and then he ate. We slept, and then he slept. They're gonna save the hotel. I hope so. Right there, big app. Yeah. Bob and the other guy's name. How deep's he in here? He sunk everything. His pension, his life savings, everything in remodeling this place. Be hearty. <sighs> She's a joy. Come on. We've got to stay up here and dream up some way of getting people to come into this place. Really needs is a dynamite act. Now you're talking. If we could get something really big, something sock like... Like Wallace and Davis. No, honey, you couldn't get them. They're too big. Wait a minute, Wallace and Davis. <laughs> <laughs> it's half a great idea, anyhow. Will you excuse me? Get me the New York operator, huh? Okay, Mr. Wallace. I want the whole show up here in three days. <gasps> yeah, the whole show set. It's costumes and all the cast you can round up. What's this going to cost? We open Christmas Eve. The tab, how much? Al, what's this, uh, what's this going to set us back? Oh, how, how much is wow? We got a big job, Buster, a big job. Now, whatever acts we can... <laughs> right in between, uh, between ouch and poing. I wrote drunks in the hall. So I guess the show is pretty big. <laughs> uh, well, well uh, we yeah. figured uh, since we had a chance to rehearse, we might as well do our rehearsing up here. Well, you got this nice big empty ski lodge, and the minute Phil and I saw it, we decided it was ideal, didn't we, Phil? Yeah, that's right, Bob. Aww. Pigs we can get for you. I'm not so sure about people. Uh, Wallace and Davis never had any trouble packing them in, sir. Apparently, there's quite a bit about show business I don't understand. This uh, takes time. We wouldn't be any good as generals. You weren't any good as privates. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather see a minstrel show All those comical folks With their riddles and jokes I pawn my overcoat And that's to see a minstrel show Here we go. Yes! Oh, Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones How do you feel, Mr. Bones? It's just like the happiest of all happy coincidences and I'm just... Loving it all. Mr. Interlocutor. What is wrong with you? Well, I know of a doctor. Sad to say, one day he fell right into a great big well. He should have attended to the sick and let the well alone. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, oh. That was told. Ah, ah. Mandy. <laughs> I was wondering where he was going to come out. Mandy. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> They're quick learners. Yeah, too. seriously. <gasps> I'm a little scared of the devil faces they're waving in the background. Or is there her face? <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice those. <laughs> a girl with many talents. Seriously. Okay, they're not devils. <laughs> Anything um, on your mind? Huh. Good night, you. Like when you sleep in full makeup? I'm... I know. <laughs> they say if you eat something right before you go to bed, it helps to, uh, in case you're thinking of anything or anybody or just anything. Fine, okay, swell. I'll go and get something. Love her PJ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little late night stroll, shall we? Well, hello. I couldn't sleep. Well, yeah. Anything. Well, tell me what you want to dream about. I know what to give you. What's that? I got a whole big theory about He's it. He's so tender. I know. It's a little chilly in here, isn't it? Oh, I got just a spot for you. Here, grab the cow. We'll gather around the fire, huh? Cozy. Yes. When I'm worried and 
and I can't sleep. I count my blessings instead of she. I fall asleep counting my blessings when my bankroll is getting small. I think of when I have none at all. I fall asleep counting my blessings. That's so tender. I, yeah, I haven't heard this one either. No, it's just amazing though. I think what you're doing for the general is one of the most decent, unselfish things I've ever heard of. It's got goosebumps. I've always been kind of a silly schoolgirl, you know the bit, the lady fair and the knight on the white horse. Tell you something, it's kind of dangerous. Makes a fellow feel a little shaky to up there all alone on one of those bleached chargers. You worry? Kind of. You're worrying, you can't sleep. Oh, I see what she did there. <laughs> and you'll fall asleep, counting your blood. make us wait so much longer for that i'm sorry i was uh, just after a little something for a sweet tooth <laughs> you find the vermont smorgasbord very good the gentle make you sleep like a baby thank you <laughs> i know exactly what i'm going to dream about tonight good <gasps> i am dead okay that was so cute and i love I love, I love that all of a sudden, like, they're like, oh, and now we're dating. Or, yeah. like, you know, like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know, no games. Yeah. No thing. I mean, the other two play a few games, but. <laughs> I still don't know too much about showbiz, but in case you and Phil are worried about the welfare of a certain Vermont innkeeper, you needn't be. His innkeeping days are numbered. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'm going back in the Army. Really? I've applied for active duty. Well, that's wonderful news, sir. I got an idea. They may try to palm off one of those desk jobs on me, but they'd better not. I expect a letter from Washington any day now. Oh, holy smoke. Oh, and I got the mail right here, and I think there's a letter for you, General. Holy oh, smoke. I'm on the wall. Your amusing letter was appreciated more than you imagined. Of course, you've got plenty of time to be amusing, sitting on that porch, rocking away while we put in a full day's work. You always were a lucky stiff, and I envy you. A few years more, I was saying to Edie the other evening, and I'll be able to take it easy like old Tom. Old Tom. Everything's fine here. Carol had the mumps, which uh, is... The rest of the letter is, uh, is about the family. He's telling me that well, they can't use me. No place for me. We're not fooling each other. Begging your pardon, sir, but uh, there's really a lot to be said for leisure. Of course, you've always been active, but uh, in time... Never you... kid a kidder, son. See you later. He's not old. No. He looks great. Silver Fox. Waverly, I mean, you know? Yeah. I tell you, it's the craziest thing I ever heard of. How are you going to get a whole division up here by Christmas Eve? Well, so we don't get a whole division, but there must be enough guys in New England alone to fill a town this size. At least enough guys to let him know he's not forgotten. He's so nice. I know. I'm going to cry. It's so tender. Television, Ed Harrison. I'm going to go put a call into him now. I'll go on down to New York, and if I can swing it, I'll get on his show and make a pitch to the guys myself. I think it's impossible, ridiculous, and insane. You can't just text your email. Go on, you have to go on a television show. From the top. What? <laughs> We've got a interpretive dance here. I'm into it. What in gotta the world? Gotta keep things fresh. <laughs> the theater. The theater. <laughs> Why is this so strange to me? It's very strange. Chaps. He's just full of surprises this Yes, way. he is. He very much likes uh, to <laughs> be the center it's all of the about stage. The show is. Oh yes. Aren't kicking anymore. They're doing choreography. <laughs> Instead of dance, it's choreography. Oh, I know whose legs yeah. are. <laughs> Scissors have just really hit a jackpot here. Yeah, right? One letter. That's all it takes, I guess. <laughs> Brings me back to my clogging days. Yeah, I forget about that. You can say no love it. He really is. Look at his face. <laughs> Oh, I love the idea of doing something for the old man. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't know how to peel a potato. Put the whole show on TV. I'll come up there myself. Bring the camera, the crew, the work. Thanks, but that's not the idea. 
Let's show the whole network right from Pine Tree. Play it up big. A real Christmas Eve show. All about how you play Santa Claus to the old man. You know, Dude. plenty of schmaltz, lots of heart. Dude. You're worth over $100,000 in free advertising for you and Phil. Yeah, we'll put the old boy on himself. You know, the forgotten man angle. Tear their hearts out. No! Sorry, but that's out. We're not commercializing on the old man's hard luck. Thank no you. Chance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, but the maid didn't hear. Oh, just communicate. Just communicate. Please Emma. communicate. <clears throat> Oh no! She's gonna tell her. Stick your nose in other people's business, and eventually you find out things you wish you hadn't. You know the boys are planning to put this whole show on television. They're even gonna put the general on. I just can't believe it. Well, that'll make no. you a pathetic figure from coast to coast. I didn't say it. Bob Wallace said it. I just heard him. No, <gasps> no, you don't. No. Wouldn't be involved in a thing like that. Go talk to yes. him. Yes. Let's not do the whole miscommunication thing. Now you're the television's end of the picture. Oh, well, then he worked it out, huh? Beautiful. No. It's a great little angle, isn't it? Listen. Uh, Keep this under your hat, will you? We wouldn't want the general to know about it. But... No, I'm so mad. Oh, howdy. I was just uh, going over this blessings number. Want to try it from the release? When my bankroll is getting small, I think of when I had none at all. What's the matter? Uh, bad key for you? Look, I don't think I'm right for this song. Yeah, I don't be silly. What I'm trying to say is I don't feel like doing this song. In fact, I'm not sure I'd want to do the show. You sleep well last night or what? I'd rather not discuss last night. There's no use getting all upset. Just a simple little kiss. Well, maybe you ought to eat some. Why is everybody suddenly so concerned about my eating habits? Come on. Come on. He's so nice. Come on. Just talk. Certainly wouldn't want to interfere with the business plans of the great Wallace and Davis. Well, that's quite a remark. I'm sorry. It's the best I can do. Is that all, Mr. Wallace? Yes, that's all, Miss Haynes. Why couldn't they just talk it out? Last night, she couldn't sleep. Today she won't eat. Oh, it's love, all right, but she's deliberately putting up barriers. I bet my bottom dollar on it. She's always felt that she's mother hen and I'm her little chick. She'll never leave the roost until I'm taken care of. She'll never get involved with anyone until I'm married or, or engaged or something. Yes, that's the end of that. Unless I get myself engaged or, or something real fast. <laughs> These two. Where are you going to find such a superman? Don't be so modest. Honey, fellas like that don't... <laughs> Me? Well, you're not exactly Superman, but you're awfully available. Hey, don't get any ideas, Judy. I'm not the marrying kind. Well, I'm uh, more the I don't mind pushing my best friend into it, but I'm scared stiff when I get anywhere close to it myself in kind. You do find me gay, amusing, good company, fun to be with. Uh, sure, but I feel the same way about my cocker spaniel. Is this afraid of commitment, or is he... Yeah. Uh... Well, look, let, let me figure this out now. It, it would only last two or three weeks at the worst. Uh, at the most, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying all the wrong things right now. Yeah. Come on, I thought you were smooth. Don't you think we ought to kiss or something? Uh, not until it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> he's already going to New York. No, he's not going to New York. They're coming in. Oh, no. I thought he was going to New York oh, to yeah, be on the TV show. He is here. Bob? Huh? Would you like to dance? I'm game if you are. The best things happen while you're dancing. Come out all right if the girl is sweet. Chance that she should meet while the dance. <laughs> Go after her. Get out. Folks, I have an announcement to make. Uh, I don't know whether the best things happen while you're dancing or whether they uh, just happen in Vermont. Judy has just agreed to, uh, uh, well, I mean that uh, she just asked me, uh, that is, she just said Judy and I are engaged. Kiss, 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 kiss. It's just wonderful, darling. I'm so happy for you. Oh, is everything all right? Sure, sure, it's all right. I'm fine. You realize you're getting the best girl in the whole wide world. Oh, I, uh, but yeah. Well, don't just stand there. Aren't you going to kiss the bride? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now, that didn't hurt too much, did it? You know, in some ways, you're far superior to my Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's drink to their happiness, huh? Getting things back to, uh, to where they were yesterday. <sighs> the miscommunication trope is so oh, frustrating. It just kills me. Now that I'm taken care of, you don't have to feel responsible for me anymore. If there's anything special you want to do, you can just feel free now to go ahead and do it. Betty, honey, are you asleep? Good night. Thanks, General. <gasps> when you get back to the end, would you give this to Judy? This is all the housekeeper's fault. Seriously. I say what you two need is 
Good talking to yes. you. Yes! I can't handle this. I can't handle this. Come on, you gotta overhear something and make it all right. Go! Okay. Run! Run! What's this? Where do you think you're going? I'm going to New York. I've got a job. You got a job? Where? Goodbye, Bob. Goodbye. No, get on the train. Goodbye. I didn't see what you were doing. No, run! Oh. How are we going to fix this? I really thought she was going to like overhear something yeah. from, like the train conductor or something and how or maybe maybe she meets one of the army men yeah. and they tell her what It's all on like or Ed uh, Harris. Maybe Ed Harris fixes it? Yes. Yeah, maybe he says no. He yeah. said no to me on yeah. that. That was all my idea. Okay, there's hope. <laughs> Come on. This is like the part in the book where I'm like so fresh. Right. The you just like want to flip to the I last like, page. I can't handle it. I'm so anxious about it. Excuse me, Judy. It's for you from Betty. It's from Betty. Gee whiz, Bob, I only did it for your own good. Yeah, because I'm a lonely, miserable, unhappy man. That's right, and when you're unhappy, I'm unhappy. Wanted the mother hen to leave the roost so that the little chick... Well, I guess we laid an egg. An egg? <laughs> but I'm going to New York and try and square it with Betty. <gasps> Would you listen to me no, for one minute? No, you listen to me. I got a little job for you to do. Hey, the general always listens to the Ed Harrison show, right? I want to be on about 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Oh, you tell Emma about it. Maybe she can help you. But the big thing is, don't let the general anywhere near that television set. You get me? Okay, Bob, you can depend on me. I thank you, Andrew. I have a table all ready for you, sir. Oh, good. But he still doesn't actually know why she's no. mad. No, Let's not do the number we rehearsed this afternoon. Oh, it's a wonderful number, honey. Come on, let's do it. Please do. <gasps> is it going to be the song? Mm -hmm. She looks smoking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You didn't do right by me You planned a romance that just hadn't a chance And I'm through Love, you didn't do right by me I'm back on the shelf and I'm blaming myself It's you My one love affair didn't get anywhere Star. Send me a Joe who had winter and snow in his heart. Show me Bob's face. I know. <laughs> he must be so sad. He doesn't know what he did. He didn't do anything. He, he was just a standing person. Oh, and I have so much anxiety about back at the hotel because the maid is going to pro probably try to get the general to the TV instead of the opposite. Oh. And it's just going to be a mess. You done me wrong. But Helen doesn't want him there so he can surprise him. Not because he's trying to make everything get messed up. Surprise, what brings you here? Oh, I had a little business to take care of. Tell her about the business. You didn't have to break up the act or run out of town because uh, Judy and Phil's engagement was phony. Trying to figure out some way to rid of any barriers between you and the altar. Seems like they thought you and I were serious about each other. Just can I hear the song? Foolish people can be. Yeah. Why do people have to stick their noses in other people's business? The two of us are having some laughs together, and right away we're in love with each other. And Judy wants you to come back. Matter of fact, I'd like to see you come back myself. Well, I don't know. Betty, I know that knight of yours has slipped off his charger. Why, I don't know, but I'd like to do all I can to get him back up there again for you. Tell them why. Oh, come on. I can't know if this is going to make it worse or better right now. Boy, what I went through for you. Sponsors, network, but I finally got it squared away. Just the way you want it. Listen, I, come on, I got a cab waiting. We're late. Uh, just a second, you know. Uh, looks like I got a scoot. Do uh, I see you later tonight, maybe? Oh, I'm sorry, I have a date. What about tomorrow? No, I'll be busy all day. Come on, will you? Bye-bye. Gosh. Oh, please watch the show. Please watch the show at nine. You uh, have the right station? Oh, yes. Oh. Grandpa... The battery's dead on the Jeep. It's stuck oh, out. I'll fix it later. I, I don't want to miss the Ed Harrison show. But Judy? It'll be a very good show tonight, huh? It's a terrible thing. Phil, down the stairs, I tell you, it's an awful thing. Mercy! Don't see if you can help it. Oh, <laughs> Small compound fracture, sir. Oh, oh. There we are. Oh, it's... Why is he holding up so high? Let's just go back in yes, here sir. and you can watch the television. Yeah. Did you... Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Showbiz. And now it's a great privilege to present my special guest, an old pal from Army Days, great guy and a great entertainer, Bob Wallace. Be watching, Betty. Woo! I have anxiety. When the war was over, 
Why, there were jobs galore for the G.I. Josephs who were in the war. But for generals, things were not so grand. And it's not so hard to understand. What can you do with a general when he stops being a general? Who's got a job for a general when he stops being a general? They all get a job for a general. This is no so quite different than I was expecting. Yep. Because we don't want to the phone and use they his the crimson carpet. Yeah, like, down on his luckness for exactly. entertainment. Exactly. Nobody thinks of assigning him when they've stopped whining and dining him. Maybe actors gonna be like, yeah. but this isn't what we felt like about our journal, so come right. help us or something. Well, like Eddie told you, that song is uh, for the 151st Division. The officers and the men under the command of Major General Tom Waverly. I hope a lot of you guys were listening because uh, I have something I want you to do for me. I know it's murder asking you to leave your homes on Christmas Eve, and certainly a trip like this is no bargain, although it shouldn't be too tough for the fellows who live in the New England area, but remember this. Nobody connected with the show is getting anything out of it. Nothing at all. <gasps> except what we're offering you. A chance, the nicest Christmas gift you'll ever get. She knows, right? She's realizing. Synchronize your watches, then, for Operation Waverly. Come on, Betty. Oh, yes! <laughs> How could you have sent all my suits to the cleaners? I've only got two. Well, I think you'd send one at a time then, in that case. Why can't you wear your uniform? Yes. I won't appear in uniform. Please, Grant. Absolutely not. Very well, I'll explain to Bob and Phil that you didn't care to come to the show you, tonight. You, I'll have you court-martialed. Take the man out of the army. Can't take the army out of the man. <gasps> yes. She came back. She came back. Come on. It's Betty. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Hello, Judy. You didn't say anything to Bob, did you? Now you haven't got much time to get ready. <gasps> She's going to come up in the movie. Yes! I'm going to cry. Grandpa, you look wonderful. You didn't expect me to come down in my bathroom, did you? Stand up! Oh, I just got full mm -hmm. body chills. Mm -hmm. Troops are ready for inspection, sir. I am not satisfied with the conduct of this division. Some of you men are under the impression having been at Anzio entitles you not to wear neckties. <laughs> well, you're wrong. Neckties will be worn in this area. And look at the rest of your appearance. You're a disgrace to the outfit. You're soft. You're sloppy. You're undisciplined. And I never saw anything look so wonderful in my whole life. <laughs> I want to clap. I know. <laughs> when I was mustered out, look out, I thought without a doubt uh -oh. that I was through with all my care and strife. Thought that I was then. <laughs> Gee, I wish I was back in the army. Three meals a day, three for which you did pay. Uniforms for winter, spring, and fall. A soldier out of luck was really never stuck. There's always someone higher up where you can pass the butt. I wish I was back in the army. <laughs> I wish it was back in the army. The army was the place to find romance. Soldiers and whack. Yes. Million handsome guys with longing in their eyes. And all you had to do was pick the age, the weight, the size. Oh, I wish it was back in the army. I wish it was back in the army. <laughs> I wish I was back in the army now. <laughs> is it real? It's real. Hey, here it comes. This is it. Isn't this great? Yes, they're going to save the inn. <gasps> Silver Monty. <laughs> no, no, no. Just a picturesque little character. Yeah. <laughs> Just happened to be there. 
Keep your eyes straight line and watch your space. Don't get <gasps> too far apart. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Glamorous claws. I'm in love with you. Why he would got like so nervous? Yeah. I'm dreaming of a Christmas with every Christmas card I your on Christmas Eve. I just loved that. I really didn't think I was going to. See, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, it'll be Christmassy and like right. fine, but it's older, you know, right. so. Yeah. I just loved it. I know, it was so fun and, and tender and, and I like, just loved Bob. Like, oh my the goodness of yes. Bob. Yes. Yes. He was just the sweetest. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be very busy. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I just, you know, they gave us the happy ending we wanted. And the whole thing with the general was like heartwarming. So heartwarming. And like, yeah, all the dynamics and all the relationships between Phil yes. and Bob and the sisters. And yeah. Yeah. I just loved it all. Yeah, it was so sweet. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe this was the OG, like, save the inn at Christmas. Hallmark. Yes. I was thinking the whole time, but I was yes. like, why can't they make it like this yeah, anymore? Yeah, with some more heart. Yes, yeah. yeah. Because that's what I was thinking the whole time. I was like, this is like a Hallmark. Like, like there's the in the Christmas Inn. There's a there's miscommunication. Like, yeah. Yeah. And but then it I was like, no. But it was, I mean, but it wasn't the same, like, cheesiness. Or totally. Something. I don't know. And, like, yeah. of course there was cheesiness. Yeah. Because it's old and that's it's kind like of, like, the style. Mm -hmm. But also, like, it was just really happy to watch. Yeah, it really was. Mm -hmm. It was it was that very was great. sweet. I can see why this is a Christmas classic. Mm -hmm. I would definitely watch that one again. Yeah, and I and I want to like see if White Christmas the song came from this yeah, movie. Yeah, seriously. And his voice was like so crooning. Yes, and, that is the yeah. classic. Yes, right? Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay, well thank you so much for watching mm -hmm. along with us. A Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. I've said this before, but Christmas is so magical and fun, but I know it can also be a really hard time for those of you who are going through something hard. And a lot of you have reached out and said you are, and we love you and our thoughts and prayers are with you and Merry Christmas. 